but I tried to express what I, what brought me to your work and what I thought of your work, because to me, it seemed like a gigantic three-dimensional, four-dimensional piece of art, like one of the biggest pieces of art someone could actually achieve because it was more than just one dimension like painting or film it was more than three dimension like a, a sculpture it was involving people and love and effort and time and all these these lives interacting and connecting and um this in my mind it was so huge and beautiful and people failed to see failed to see for the most part what it really was and i was so I was like choking on my own like emotions and excitement and that's why I started to fucking cry. And the most unlikely thing of all happened because you got up behind your desk, from behind your desk and you came up to me and you hugged me. <laughs> I'll never forget that. If I get to be a hundred years old, I will never forget that. It was, it was so amazing and you whispered things into my ear like like you knew me my whole life like you see me like through you saw the scars in my arms and you said that as deep as I cut myself you know that I that I feel and that it's between fear of faith that every time and every day I have to decide when you have come to know Laura what your friend Lauren was talking about that you need to take a leap of faith and yeah, that really, really changed my life. That really turned something around. And the year after that meeting, I was like, finally in university, what I wanted to do, finally in art school. And my life turned around for so for, for the better. And I started to believe more in myself and started to take the occasional leap of faith. And it all thanks to you. I love you so much.